The PhD in general practice and primary care is aimed at students who are interested in developing their skills in the areas of primary care and general practice research. Glasgow has a really great reputation for public health research and I'd heard brilliant things about Glasgow as a city. I hadn't never lived here before but I had a feeling it would be a fantastic place to live, which it has proved to be. Um, and when I came to visit for the interview here, it was just everyone in the department was incredibly friendly and welcoming and that really made me want to come. My PhD is aimed at understanding how people with stroke might be burdened by their treatments. And this is important because managing a long-term condition such as stroke can actually be quite a lot of work for patients. I have a mixed background in nursing and information technology so I really kind of wanted to combine those two things in my PhD studies. And my PhD is looking at the reasons that people choose to participate in digital health interventions or not. Um, so it's kind of in the health informatics field. I have a sociologist, a healthcare services expert and a, and a public health expert on my supervisory team so, so in terms of the, the support Glasgow is ideal. Currently within our own students we have clinicians so we have general practitioners, we have had pharmacists and nurses in the past doing the PhD here. We also have a range of non-clinical researchers so people who are interested in social sciences and social policy as applied to primary care. Uh, who have got an epidemiology or a statistics background. I had a background in medicine and then I studied the Masters of Primary Care here in the University of Glasgow. Then I decided to extend it and do my PhD here. My research project is on a diabetes management model back home in Indonesia. So I had the opportunity to do research that is relevant to my home country. Attending conferences is one of my favourite things to do and you get a lot of good opportunities. I have been fortunate enough to visit Seattle. I went to a conference there and last year I went to New York, so that was a great one. Well, I went to Sao Paulo. It was the 15th World Congress on Health and Biomedical Informatics and the PhD research competition was sponsored by IBM Research. They selected the top eight students in the world and I was just honoured to be selected as a finalist. We were asked to present our research to a panel of judges and to an academic audience. To take home the top prize was just, um, it was just unbelievable. Quite recently I got a scholarship to go to a summer school in Toronto. There was a group of international researchers that attended and we visited some of the universities in Ontario and we got lots of workshops and presentations from academics um, in different universities that are working on um, big data research and how you can apply it in healthcare. We also got to do lots of fun things as well, so we got a trip to Niagara Falls, we got to go camping and canoeing and stuff, so I suppose one of the benefits of PhDs you get to travel and see what research is happening in, in other parts of the world. I learned a lot about how to organise um, a research project well, in the past I've always been a part of a team of research but now I'm managing my own project and managing all the nuts and bolts and everything there is to the project and it's helped me a lot on how to manage a big research project. I'm doing uh, field work at the moment, I'm doing interviews with patients and GPs and practice nurses and I'm a GP myself so I think it, it's helped, it's helped my practice. Um, but it's also, uh, it's also been incredibly fulfilling and challenging in, in lots of different other ways as well. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, have, I have enjoyed doing the PhD. This is a really fantastic department. It's, um, I think it's actually quite different from a lot of other academic departments because it feels incredibly collegiate. Whether you're a PhD student or a professor, everyone sort of, I guess, is in it together and is very supportive of each other and that has made an enormous difference to me in my PhD. So I've really, really loved it, yeah. I've been here six years now. I've made a lot of good friends and in that time I've had two children and I felt very supported with regards um, taking maternity leaves and working part-time. There's also a lot of scope for working flexibly, so um, it is a very sort of family-friendly department. Uh, the city of Glasgow is a very vibrant place, a very vibrant city with diverse uh, people from around the globe, but it's also close to um, national parks and which you can go there by train in a few minutes or hours and it's a good break from the city when you wanted to take a break away. 
After I graduate from this program, I will return back home to Indonesia as a primary care physician and also I'll be working in academia as well and of course the skills and that I've gained throughout this PhD will be helpful for me throughout my career in academia. Any PhD is quite self-driven so you need to be quite motivated and enthusiastic about your project but there is lots of support there um, from other researchers that you work with. We have quite a large multidisciplinary team so it's people from clinical uh, backgrounds, from uh, social science backgrounds and from kind of technology backgrounds uh, working there and also um, the senior academics are really friendly and approachable so they're also there if you need, if you need help and support. Everybody here really genuinely wants you to do well and they're very supportive and, and honestly I wouldn't be I think anywhere else.